Hey everyone, alright, so I am back to do a review on the Kendall Voyage. I've had this for a few months. Um, before I had the Kendall Paperwhite, I sold that because I wanted to have something like a little bit more like a tablet kind of feel. So I decided I would get the Kindle Fire. I really did not like the experience on that device. I didn't like the reading experience. I didn't enjoy com or feel comfortable reading on it. Um, so I decided to sell that and I got the Kindle Voyage. Comparing the Kindle Voyage to Kindle Paperwhite, just by just the experience and nothing like, no specs at all. Um, I feel like the Kindle Paperwhite and the Kindle Voyage are very similar. The Kindle Voyage is a little bit more high, a little bit more like updated, but it's not drastically different to the point where you just need to get the Kindle Voyage if you already have the Kindle Paperwhite. It's kind of like having the Ken, like the iPhone 5 and the iPhone 5S. Like there's no drastic change to the point where it's like you have to have it. Um, so anyways, so this is the box it comes in. It's just like any other Kindle device. It comes in like just a box like this. And you open it up, you take out the sleeve, and when you open up the box, you get, I say the box for this. I don't know if it's like super cheesy. I'm sorry if it is, but whatever. I thought I'd just add a little different to a video different feel to the video. Um, but anyways, you get like this, which holds the cord that plugs, um, that charges your Kindle. You have a little instruction sheet on like the battery or how the charging battery. And, um, it tells you you could go online to the Kindle user guide to learn more about the, the Kindle. Um, so yeah, they don't come with instruction sheets just because it saves packaging and money. Then you get the Kindle, and um, this is what it looks like. I'm just gonna push all this stuff away, and it looks like this. Looks beautiful creation, huh? So you have your page turner buttons. It's for left and right, so if you're right-handed, you use those. If you use left-handed, you use those. Um, and yeah, it has a sensor here, here up top somewhere, where it kind of senses the light, um, the ambiance light. Then on the other side, you have your Amazon logo. I don't know what this is. I'm just guessing it's just a, another like sensor of light. You have your power on button. And yeah, you just, it's, um, I don't know if you can really notice the shape in my video, but it's kind of like an or, like an origami type of shape. It's just the, I can't really tell you what type of shape this is, but it's kind of cool. It's still a pretty, really thin device and it fits really nicely in the hands comfortable even if you didn't have a case or anything like i would still feel comfortable reading it it's lightweight it's not too uncomfortable like you know it's not too bad um to veer off i did buy a case for my kindle i got this leopard um design case it's by fenty i believe f-i-n-t-i -I. I don't know if you can see it right there um and it's got like a felt inside like material inside and you have like plastic outer coat to protect and you just pop the Kindle right in um like so um this case is on Amazon I got it on Amazon um I'll put the link below and I would believe it was like $16.99. There's two links for it, or two, um, I don't know. They're exactly the same case, but one is like more expensive than the other. Like one's like $19.99, the other one's $16.99. I bought the $16.99. It's a really good case. Um, I have noticed though, like if you can see, there is some wear around the sides. So that is kind of annoying, like... I had it for a few months in there somewhere, but I have been taking like discoloration. You can see right here some discoloration. I have been taking this Kendall around with me in a lot of places, so I don't know if it's like this case only works well if you do low to really low activity with it, but um, 
I'm still going to keep the case. I like it. It's cute. And it does protect the Kindle. Like, at the end of the day, the case is supposed to protect your Kindle. So, I maybe along the lines, I might get a new case. Who knows? But, um, if you're interested, it's on Amazon. I'll put the link below. And let's dive right into the Kindle Voyage. So, of course, like almost cases, it has magnets to unlock your Kindle, you swipe, they do offer a, like a Kindle Voyage without ads, which is more money. So Kindle um, brand has updated its like front screen or like the home screen. So you have your library up top in this little region. Down below is books recommended for you. Let me zoom in a little bit. Yeah, um, and then over on the side is your reading list, like your wish list. Um, it will either be like your reading list from Goodreads or it will be like your wish list that you have from Amazon. So if you just like to go over, this look, the library is the same. Pretty much like any other Kindle. Um, you have your download and your all. Downloaded is what you already have downloaded on your um, Kindle and all is what's in your cloud and in, on your Kindle device. Um, so let's just go over like the top paneling up here. Um, up top is your home button, clearly. That's the back button. And then right here the sun looking thing is if you push it you have your airplane mode. You have your sync my Kindle. Um, like if you bought something new on your Kindle and you realize it's not on there, you can push the sync because maybe it hasn't like fully registered that you bought something new and it's there. Um, you have all settings. Then down here is your um, brightness. Um, you can auto adjust it for yourself or you can push the auto brightness. So basically your Kindle senses, depending on what time of day, how much light is in the area where you're reading, it will auto correct it so you your eyes are comfortable to the screen and I think that's a really cool feature so because um you don't have to do it yourself it pretty much just does it for you and it's just I think that's actually a really really cool feature um you have your Goodreads um, button up top so you can link your Goodreads account to your Kindle so you can update your um what you're reading what you finish what you want to read you can put out reviews on the books you read. You can read reviews on the books you read on the Kindle or want to read on your Kindle. So it's a very convenient tool right there. You have the I or the Kindle store search and then you just have your drop down menu. And the drop down menu you have my library, my reading lists, my Kindle store, um, you have Goodreads, um, you have Kindle free time which is like where you, if you have kids and they use your Kindle, you can set up so you can give them parental rights, how long you want them to use it, what, and the books they can read. And I think that's a really cool feature. Um, my kid, my baby is not old enough to read right now, but I think that's really cool if they do use your Kindle. So they're not reading like inappropriate romance novels that you have on your Kindle, just but or whatever. But um, you have a vocabulary builder. What this is, and what's really cool with like this Kindle is it works a lot with like working with words and trying to improve people's vocabulary, which I think that's really, really cool. So a vocabulary builder just has a bunch of flashcards. Like if you press scrubby, this gives you the, de um, the definition of it. And you can just say mastered and you're done. Like and you can test yourself. So I think that's really cool. Um, under that, you have your experimental browser, which I really never like understood, but I guess it's just like the internet like barely. You have settings, I have view special offers, which is down here below. Like there's the down here, the advertisement that you saw on the lock screen. Um, you can go to the view special offers and learn more about those. And then you have your create new collections. If you like to put your books and collections, that is what that's for. Okay. Also down here below, it switches time to time. But now on my screen is Goodreads of like the people I'm friends with on Goodreads, what they're reading currently. And I think that's also cool because then you can kind of see new books you could venture into and learn about. 
So let's go into a book and see what other options these books offer on the voyage, like other features. So I'm going right into The Martian, and you just click the top. Down here at the bottom, you see a reader's guide. It just tells you the location of where you're at and how much how much longer you have left in a chapter and like the percentage you are done with in the book. Um, so, and they have two options of viewing. You have that, and then you have, hold on. Sometimes it's very lapsed. I've noticed it takes, like, sometimes it can be very lapsed in responding to your touches. But you have this feature where you can, like, jump from page to page faster. Um, like, if there's a certain chapter you want to go to, it, like, goes to it and you can jump to that page really fast. I think that's really cool. Um, so you're not, like, swiping, 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 or you're, like, looking through the x-ray or whatever. Anyways, you can bookmark a page up top if you push the corner. So let's go back to pushing the top panel. You have go to also where you can go to any chapter and click that. You can go to different notes, like popular notes, um, or you can make go to your notes. Uh, X-ray, which kind of is it's cool, like in the sense where um, there's people, like, there's different types of, there's different characters in the books, and you want to look something about them, you can find different quotes by them, or where they are on, on the story, there's different terms that you need to know, um, or your interest in, in knowing, because it's kind of confusing, especially in The Martian with a bunch of science terms, there's, like, um, a glossary of those, and then images, I did not look through this, this is pretty cool. I didn't, they just must have added this option. See, I did not know they had pictures. So they don't show it, like, right away. So this is, like, totally new to me. Okay, but anyways, um, that's the x-ray option. We have, you can change, like, the, the font. You can change the size of your page, like any other Kindle. You can change the spacing, the margins, and the orientation. And you can change, like, the reading progress thing. Like, I have page and book because it's just, like, easier to know the page, like, you're on um, than knowing, like, the location in the book or time left in the novel. Time is irrelevant to me. I don't know how many times I, have to say, I say it, but I am a very slow reader, so time is irrelevant it already says like you have nine hours left in a chapter like i'm so bad um <laughs> so that's uh this dot these three dots is just like we used to share on social media like you can link your facebook your twitter or your, of course your goodreads to your kindle and you can share what you're reading just through your kindle you have your bookmarks um then other oops, sorry Oh my gosh, this fly is driving me insane. Okay, sorry. So, let's see. Just like adjust it a little bit. On the drop down menu on a book, you again have your Kindle store. You have your vocabulary builder, settings, notes about this book, which gives you like a brief synopsis or brief overview of the book. Like it will tell you the synopsis of the book. It will tell you if, you, or like, it will give you the Goodreads option. Do you want to mark as you're currently reading? Blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, the typical time it takes to read this book. Um, how many pages are in the book. And, like, about the author. Um, so it gives more. It gives you, like, an x-ray of, oh, you have some images. And then some popular highlights. And then, like, um, things are mentioned in the book. So this is pretty cool. Like, it gives you, like, a reference says, of, like, things mentioned in the book so you can be knowledgeable of that. So when you do read some of the book, it's, you know, you're not totally, like, taken away by some things. Um, anyways, you can sync to the furthest page because if you, like, I have the Kindle app on my phone. So sometimes I'm at work or something, I would be reading on my phone. So it goes sync those two devices together so I can keep up with both. And then they have something that's really cool, WordWise. Um, WordWise basically can help you with vocabulary. 
building. Oh, uh, so if you turn it on, like if you haven't noticed on my page, like here, hold on, let's see if it focuses. Come on, baby. Nope. Too close. Okay, I don't know. I'm just gonna try to hold it up to. Okay, I don't. Sorry. Okay, see here. Yeah, there is like a lot of words over this instrumentation. Basically, it gives you like the definition of some words that they think might be hard for people to know are words that are more difficult than others. So, and you can, if you click down here in the right bottom, you see it says, oops, it says word wise down here. You can adjust it to either be a few hints, more hints, little bit, you know, to, so if it's more hints, you're gonna have like these little definitions all over the page. Uh, and if it's like few hints, you're gonna have very few, like the hardest words but not like all. I put very few because I found that like if you put a lot, and I put word wise on here because it's a sci-fi book, so I thought I was gonna explain like what a Mav is and stuff like that. So I thought, but it gives you like definitions to like words that are kind of like, you should have already known, like you should have known middle school. Um, so it kind of got annoying, so I put it to very few, just to have some like knowledge of some words if I don't know what they mean. So that is that. Uh, let's go home. Oops. Oh my gosh. Sorry. I am like so bad. Push buttons. Whenever it's like under pressure. Okay. Let's go to settings to see if there's anything different there. There's airplane mode. There's Wi Fi network. Oh, and there's no information. Um, there's device options. Was you have your passcodes, your parental, your screen light, your um, your personalized, you can personalize your control, like add your name and stuff like that. Nothing very interesting. You have your reading options, which you can just put the language you're learning in. Um, page refresh, page press, and, and your social network notes about this book. Um, and the page press has something to do with like these buttons, so you can adjust them. If you want to get feedback with these buttons, oh, and I'll show you how these buttons work. I don't really use these buttons that often. I'm just, I like swiping. It's just easier. But I believe, hold on. Okay, if you double tap the top one, it takes you forward. If you double tap the line, it takes you back. Um, so that's that. All right, so my overall opinion on the Kindle Re Voyage. I love it. I absolutely love Kindle. Honestly, like Kindle cannot come up with a really, a work, like a bad product. Besides like the fires, I really don't like them at all. Um, I love the Kindle products. I think I always will. Oh, I forgot to tell you like the basic generic specs, sorry. Um, you have Wi-Fi, it has four gigabytes, it's daylight readable, which has to do with the brightness and adjusting to the sunlight and whatever. Um, has 300 PPI touch display, um, button light, or oh, built-in light, sorry. Oh my gosh. Um, and then it has a page sharing button, which right here. So those are some generic, um... Specs, but anyways, like I was saying, I really, really love the Kindle products. I love this is like a step up from the Kindle Paperwhite, but it's not dramatic, dr like dramatically different to where if you have the Kindle Paperwhite, I would not go out and like buy the Kindle Voyage. It's like almost two hundred dollars, so I would just keep the Paperwhite. It's not a dramatic change or anything. So, but if you are looking for a Kindle, I would go for the Voyage. Why not go for you know the, the you know. But overall, I love it. But the only like things I have with it, it does have some lapse time. But I think my favorite white did too. Like even with these buttons, it had a little lapse 
time too. Like it took me a while to, or it took a while to respond to my tapping. Um, and then also with the battery, like I know it's supposed to last like two weeks or three weeks, but I find it lasts a lot, lot shorter. And I don't know if it's because like if you hold the power button, let's see, it brings up options you can cancel, restart, or screen off. So I don't know if like essentially you're supposed to turn off your screen every time you're done with the Kindle because I usually just shut my Kindle and I don't know if like the ads take some power away. I'm thinking that's what it is. I'm thinking like the having like the random ads uses some of your power. So over time with that plus reading, it depletes your Kindle faster than if you just turn off the screen. So I'm going to try to just always turn my screen off after I'm done and then see how far it goes. It lasts a long time, but not as long. Like, not as long as my Kindle Paperwhite did. So I really feel like I'm doing something wrong or I just got like a lemon. But anyways, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed. If you have the Kindle Voyage down below, um, please leave a comment. Tell me how you like it. Um, if you have any cool cases that you got for yours, please leave them below too. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.